days ago, the beloved 10th Street Bridge in Great Falls was found vandalized. In particular, all 10 oak planter boxes built by Great Falls Public Schools 5th and 6th graders defaced. MTN's Owen Scornick Hayes met with students and members of the Rivers, Ed Rivers Edge Trail Foundation to hear their reaction to the vandals' work. I'm standing here on the 10th Avenue pedestrian bridge where less than a year ago, fifth graders within GFPS system built large oak planters in an effort to beautify this historic bridge. Well, unfortunately, less than a week ago, all 10 of those planters were smashed by unknown vandals. At this time, a police report has been filed. I spoke with some of the people most affected by this senseless act. When I came down and walked the length of the bridge, all 10 of the planters were gone. There was nothing left except a small pile of debris. Bernadette Bankhead sits on the Preservation Cascade Inc. board. She's helped oversee numerous projects, including the pedestrian bridge on 10th Street North. As a nonprofit, her board spends zero tax dollars on the bridge, relying instead on donations. In this case, it was the time donated by children and local businesses, which was destroyed. It just broke my heart. Literally, I mean, <laughs> I just felt sad the rest of the day. Why would somebody do this? We were just devastated with it. I mean, it's something that you know, we were proud of. The kids took a lot of time to build these these projects and, you know, the planters and and to sit there and have this happen, it's just senseless. Jonah Christ is just one of many students who diligently worked on these planters. He was only trying to help improve his community at an early age. I mean, I was kind of just wondering why you would do it. I, I, I felt proud that I had uh, built something for the bridge. Chuck Jennings sits with the River's Edge Trail Foundation. He's just as mystified as to why this vandalism occurred. It's hard to know whether it's just uh, People on drugs who, who are angry and, and want to do uh, damage um, as an outlet or whether these people who perhaps were not in favor of saving the bridge, who knows? The bridge's full name is the Arlene Reichert Community Heritage Bridge, named after its savior. I spoke with Arlene over the phone after she had learned of the destruction. I really feel for those kids. It's going to make them disillusioned, I'm afraid to have something that they worked so hard for and then having it just torn apart, destroyed, and thrown in the river. I think they feel probably similar to me. Um, why would somebody do that? We've never seen anything like this. This is kind of a, you know, like I said, it's really sad that that has had to happen, you know. A statement from GFPS Superintendent Tom Moore reads, these oak planters were constructed by 40 fifth and sixth grade students last year during a summer construction camp program sponsored by the school district and local building industry partners. This program is designed to engage our students with community partners to be introduced to the building trades and to demonstrate community and civic involvement. My hope is that despite this atrocity, these planters can be replaced over time and the enhancements to this historic bridge can continue. From Great Falls, Owen Scornick Hayes, MTN News.